Unbeaten in their first three games of the season, the Timbers are back on the road this weekend, hoping to climb higher on the Western Conference standings. That's right. Jacob Zivin and Aliam Ridgewell are on the call this weekend and are previewing the match. Well, Timbers coming off their first win of the season, won nothing against Austin, still unbeaten through three matches this year. Now they go on the road to take on Dallas. Liam, let's start with where we're coming from. What do you think of the win? I think it was very good. I think it was a battling win. Um, a lot of people don't like the 1-0 wins, but I, I really enjoyed it. I'm sure Gio did as well. Um, and a battling performance. I think the two centre-halves done very well again. And Bill comes away with a clean sheet and a goal. And um, a lot of positives to take out to it to go into the Dallas game. So three games into this season, still unbeaten, two draws and a win. What's your kind of overall takeaway from the first three matches? It's nothing Gio would be happy. I think it would be confident in the team going to Dallas and going forward. I think we spoke to him before. He, he would like to maintain possession a little bit more, connect through the lines a little bit more. But listen, there's players injured, coming back, slowly getting back in and training. So I think he'd be fairly pleased the way they're going. Texas, a Texas team in Austin, came to Portland. The Timbers won. They've been quite good against teams from Texas in Oregon. Hasn't been the same when they've had to go to Texas. You've been there many times. Yeah. They're going to have to do that to take on FC Dallas. What's so difficult about going on the road to a place like Dallas? Straight away, it's the heat. Yeah. I've always That's always been a struggle. You've got to get acclimatized to it. Listen, and Dallas is a very ex, you know, exciting team, energy. They like to get in people's faces. The fans like to give you a little bit. The, and the managers like to get into it a little bit. So it makes an exciting game. So Timbers have got to be up for it. They'll be energized, they'll be focused, and uh, against a very good Dallas team. They do have a new manager this year in Nico Estevez. They've got Paul Ariola in, Marco Farfan, your former teammate now in Dallas, and a young designated player in Alan Velasco, who's made his debut last week. They're coming off a win, their first win of the season, over Nashville, 2 0. What do you see in this 2022 version of FC Dallas that the Timbers are up against? Listen, Velasco, a very good player. Our person that likes to be 1v1 a lot. It's going to be very difficult to mark him, to pick him up. He likes to come a little bit deep. So you've got to make sure you can get tight. If you do get tight, you've got to make sure he doesn't roll you and score a goal like he did on the weekend. Yes, it took a good deflection for him, but a very exciting player. Aviola coming off that right side, a very good player, likes to come inside, gets connected with the centre forward, energetic. I talk about the energy. Dallas will bring energy and the Timbers have got to match it. This, the Timbers will be looking for their first regular season win in Dallas since this guy's first year in Portland, decision day on 2014. Exciting. Very exciting. And you can catch the match from Texas this Saturday night on Fox 12 Plus. Our coverage of PTFC will begin at 5 o'clock with the countdown to kickoff.